be there in a minute. I was just outside gardening. Whew. It is so bright out there. You don't even know. Probably because I've been planting all these bulbs. Let me just give myself a second for my eyes to adjust. <laughs> okay, they've adjusted. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Allison. I'm Allison. Today is Wednesday, smack dab in the middle of the week. And um, I have a fantastic show for you today. But first, some light chatter. Um, once again, it's like 150 million degrees out there, and I am tired of it. I'm just tired of it. I'm also someone who tends towards the whiny and the complainy, I'm realizing. So I'd like to go back to one second ago and say, you know what? Whatever the weather is, I'm into it. I remember once um, I was watching this show, Swingtown, which actually was my favorite short-lived show for a little while, um, and one of the characters who was like this libertine, fun, easygoing, swinging, literally dude, um, and I don't mean literally like on a swing, I mean literally like he and his wife were swingers, um, he's like, wherever the party is, man, that's where I am. I think that's what he said. Something like that. And I was thinking, that is such a different philosophy than I have. Because I'm like, wherever the party is... No. I'm trying to think what I'm like. I'm like, if I'm at a party, I'm probably in my head thinking, I wonder where another party is. But seriously, you guys, I'm a ton of fun, despite what I'm saying. Aren't you having fun? I feel like we are. I feel like we're connecting, you know? Anyway, today my guest is porn star Courtney Combs. I'm going to be honest. I'm not all that familiar with her oeuvre, um, but I have an idea of what it's like. And, um, yeah, so I think we should call her up. Now, I'm trying to debate whether to give you this slight backstory or not. No, I'm not going to. Okay, let's call her. Um, I have not pre-interviewed her or anything, because I tend to not do that. So this will be the first time she and I have spoken on the phone. Um, so come on this journey with me. No pun, even though I just said come there, it was, it was spelled differently. Okay. Hi, is this Courtney? It's me. Hey, it's Allison. Hi, Allison. How are you, princess? I'm good. So you're on live, taped with the Daily Allison. How are you? Fine. I was just masturbating for my boys on my camp show. Oh. <laughs> How are you, baby? I'm good. I was not doing that. So wait, so you have a web show as well then? Yeah, I do live camp shows, and actually I was just sticking my little bling bling toy in my vagina, as you were calling it. Um, I see. Well. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. I feel like our shows are so not similar. So I have a question for you. Um, yeah. do, do you have guys saying kind of gross and pervy things to you? all the time, and if so, how do you deal with it? Because I know that I get that a lot, and, like, I don't, I'm obviously not doing anything with a bling-bling ever, you know? So, <laughs> so I'm, th but I'm thinking, you, since you are, like, you must get it, you know, a heap load more than I do. Well, I, you know, it doesn't really bother me because I'm a pervert myself, and the problem is, it's just, like, it's just, like, you know, I don't know, it's just, like, I don't know, it's just, like, assume that you're always in porn start mode. Right. And I can handle it. And if they get out of line, I just kind of, you know, smack them around a little bit. And they realize what they say. Or I'll be like, do you talk to everybody like that? And they'll be like, oh, no, I don't. You know what? I don't. She's right. And then they'll take a step back and look at the situation. And they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. Right. I, so I never really let it affect me and offend me, you mm -hmm. know, because that's the way they view me. They view me as a porn star, as a dirty girl. And, and it takes a lot to offend me. So <laughs> we just have fun with it. What does offend you? Um, it takes a lot. Yeah. Honestly, if you mention anything about my family and porn and stuff like that, that kind of bothers me. Right, right. 
Um, so where are you from? Where did you grow up? I was born in West Virginia, and I went to college in Florida, and now I live in LA. So I grew up in the country. Mm -hmm. Do you miss it, or do you like LA? Um, LA is work. It's okay. You know, you have everything at your fingertips, but I prefer Florida. Really? Yeah, the people are laid back there, you know. It's like, you sort of a harmony in Florida, you know. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you get recognized a lot? Yes, I do. And do you like that? Um, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's cool, but some, most of the time, the guys just look at me like, like, sometimes it's a little creepy if you're in the supermarket, you know? Right. If you're around. But I'd rather someone be like, hey, Sonny, how you doing? And keep it going about their business as opposed to just, like, creeping me out a little bit. Right. Or as opposed to, like, doing the slow lurk where you're like, okay, this yeah. person's been following me and staring at me. <laughs> Like I'm going through the eggs at the supermarket, and the guy next to me is, like, just looking me up and down, going through the eggs. You know what I mean? I yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so you mentioned that, like, they expect you to be in porn star mode all the time. So what are you like when you're not in porn star mode? I'm, no makeup. My hair is in a scrunchie. I'm wearing sweats. or just want the comfortable flip-flop, you know, relaxing. Totally, like, I'm an animal lover, so I take my dogs to the park a lot. I just relax. I'm mm -hmm. kind of an introvert, actually. Really? Do you, um, what, like when the camera turns on, do you change, or? Yeah, when the camera turns on, I just become like a freak, you know? <laughs> Obviously, I love to masturbate, and I love my job, I love the sex. Um, but when the camera turns on, I'm Courtney Cumps, you know? I go into Courtney Cumps mode, and I want to have sex, and I want to come, and that's, that's the job, you know? Right. When was That's the... That's my fantasy world as well, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> when was the first time you realized that you had this uh, extroverted in front of the camera side of you? Um, I have to say, whenever I first got into the business, it must have been about my fifth scene, and I worked for this director called Joey Silvera from Evil Angel, mm -hmm. and he just brought out the dark side of me, you know? It's like whenever you go to work a day, you're in work mode, and then you come home, and for your man, you're in girlfriend mode. Well, basically, I just switch over to porn star mode, and I just opened up a whole new horizon, you know? I enjoy doing, like, the more aggressive things. Um, I like to dominate men sometimes. And then whenever it's, like, in my home life, when I'm into, like, a, a guy that I have to be emotionally attached to, I become more, like, you know, more passion, more kissing, more loving. So it's, like, it's probably, like, you have to develop a double personality, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to ask a question that I'm sure my viewers are wondering. Are you in a relationship now? No, I'm single. I like to be single. I mean, I date guys occasionally, but I prefer to be single because I really enjoy my job. Like, I don't want to feel guilty for my, my job. I don't want to feel manipulated. I just want to go to work, have a fabulous day, come home, have dinner, relax, chill out with my animals, and not think about what I did earlier today. You know what I mean? Right. Just, I, I hate to be manipulated, and I don't like to feel guilty because guilty is the root of a lot of sicknesses. You know what I mean? I totally agree with you. Yeah, I, well, I, I mean... It's, you know, a cliche, but I would imagine it must be hard to be in a relationship and be doing what you're doing at the same time. It is. It's a catch-22 because you put everything in jeopardy to do porn. You know, you right. put your health in jeopardy, you put your family relationship, your friendship, your personal, you know, um, boyfriend relationships. You put it all in jeopardy for what? To make money, to, you know, have sex on camera, just to be in the porn star world. It's very difficult at times, but I think only the strongest people can survive it. Mm-hmm. So how much longer do you think you'll do it? I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. I mean, I've been very lucky. I'm with a great company, at Zero Tolerance Entertainment, uh -huh. direct for them. I have a successful website at Courtney411.com. So I'm always on the go. I feature dance. So whatever happens, happens. All right, you guys. Well, that is our show. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, a little more porny at the beginning than I expected. I think it was naive of me to not see that coming. Once again, no pun. Um, anyway, I hope that your delicate sensibilities have not been offended. I suspect they haven't been, though. Anyway, please tune in tomorrow. Love you guys. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.